Yo, what is crack a like in Instagram? It is your boy Kendrick Avant, the agent of gratitude. And yo, man, your boy is just here on an absolute test run. So I don't know who rocking with me, who was out there vibing with this flow, with this vibe, with this feeling. I'm just trying to find out if I can even do anything on Instagram. Because when I joined other people's Instagram yesterday for the live videos, I tried to join two lives yesterday. And every time I join, the video goes haywire. The call drops. I did this with one person. It must have happened 13 or 14 times. Did this with somebody else. It happened three times. And at both times, the conclusion was from both of those producers, yo, because you talk so much about cannabis, because you talk so much about herbs and kratom and wellness and everything else, you've hit the Instagram alg algorithm where you're not going to be allowed to be shown too much because you kind of say off the wall stuff, off the subject kind of things. I understand that. I can vibe with that. I just never thought I was big enough to be considered anybody who was even hitting the algorithm, man. Like, I don't do that much on here. I haven't been consistent enough for that much in my eyes on here. I got my blog at All Things One Love, and I would love if anybody goes to my All Things One Love blog and check things out, because that's where your boy talks about stuff like the gratitude all the time. And the reason I call myself the agent of gratitude is because as your agent of gratitude, I'm here to exemplify how a life of gratitude can change your perspective, make you a better person. Make you a better spouse, a better parent, a better lover, a better friend, a better colleague, a better leader. Everything, man. If you check out the category, check out the stats. 80% of our thoughts are negative. And if you can just reduce your negative thoughts to about 69%. And if you think about that, just stop for a second. I don't even mean to interrupt. If you think about that, the magical number 69. If you can get your thoughts from 80% negative to just 69, and you know 69 is the number to remember, get it to 69, you'll have over 1,000 positive thoughts that day, 1,200 if you want to be more specific with it, 1,200 positive thoughts, dog, that means by now, you could have had the thought that makes your husband put the damn toilet lid down. You could have had a thought that makes your kid remember how to do the math lesson. Whatever you needed to do to get your work done in five minutes could have been thought of. But instead, you've been ticked off because you can't believe your kids came downstairs this morning and didn't say good morning to you. You can't stand that your kids come in every day. And when you say, yo, how was your day? Tell me how your day was. What'd you do? And your kids say nothing. Fine, nowhere, same stuff, I don't know, mom. When your kids do all that kind of mess, it's because you're overthinking. Over 70% of 20 and 30 year olds are overthinkers. Over 50% of 40 and 50 year olds are overthinkers. Your boy is 43 now. I know I'm in that 50 something percent that overthinks. I'm overthinking everything all the time. I'll get, I'll get caught up overthinking what I should have said to my kids two weeks ago whenever they messed up on something. And I shouldn't even be thinking about what they messed up on something. I got so many other things going on good. I should be thinking about they did the kitchen last night without being told. I could be thinking about it's been a week and I have not received one of them silly emails about your kid didn't turn in this. Your kid didn't turn in that. And it's just because the teacher hasn't put the grade in. It's been, a, it's been a few days and I haven't gotten any of those emails. But instead of me being happy about that, I'll get stuck thinking about, damn it, where did they leave the remote at? Or I'll get stuck thinking like, golly, why doesn't my wife ever blah, blah, blah. You've got to get over that. Your mindset has to be over the bullshit. Your mindset has to be over the bullshit. It's hard as hell, but it's easy as fuck, dog. Your mindset has to be 
over the bullshit. All that is bullshit. All that is bullshit. All that is bullshit. I'm telling you, man, it's bullshit. And you got to keep your mindset over that. You got to be focused on where you're supposed to go. And the way I do it, personally, the way I'm doing it, and I'm telling you this because your boy is disabled, I'm handicapped, I got all these disabilities and limitations. The shit I'm telling you, what I'm talking about, when I'm talking about this gratitude journal, I'm telling you this, man, because I know it, I believe it, I feel it, I love it, I do it, I grow it, I am this every single day. I spend so much time thinking about gratitudes, why I am grateful for stuff, not just what I'm thinking about why I am grateful for stuff. And because I'm thinking about why I am grateful, I'm not thinking so much about what I can't do. I'm not thinking so much about what she didn't do. I'm not thinking so much about who didn't call me. I'm not thinking so much about my feet hurting. I'm not thinking so much about any of that shit. Instead, I'm thinking, yo, hell yeah, I got some corn mix, so my list will not be chapped because I know I don't have enough water. Whoo, I still got some peanuts left. I'm not going to be hungry. Plus, peanuts help you have bowel movements. Yes, good. Rocking and rolling. Uh, yes, my speaker is charged up. I can do that. I got all this good stuff going. But if you let the nonsense hit you, you let that negativity hit you, you'll constantly be worried about if your job pays you enough. You'll constantly be thinking, why didn't your kid finish their last plate? Because the way you grew up, you finished your last plate. That type of shit goes through and it won't let you go. You got to stay focused. You got to stay focused. I can open up my gratitude journal. And this one, this most recent one, this is the most recent one I have started on, as you can see, November 8th. And you can see how it started up. Looking like that. And now it is, what, 50 some days later? I am, um, if I'm flipping through this, you can just, man, if anybody just sends me, give me a date between 9, 8, and today, 11, 11, and I can read to you my gratitude journal entry. I do it with my Facebook group. I do it on my blog, which is all things one love, and well, I'm only here right now because I'm just seeing if I could even go live because I've been told that because I talk so much about cannabis. And I talk so much about all the other stuff I do to rock and roll without healthcare that I'm hit an algorithm and that's why I can't go live anymore. Tried to go live yesterday a bunch, man. And every time I tried to go live, it messed up. Every time I joined, it messed up. If I watch the group going, it's cool beans. They doing it. They wrecking. They having good times with it. And as soon as my ass jump in, goes on the fritz everything gone everything gone just like that and i'm only here to talk about my gratitude journal man i'm not here to talk about no cannabis i'm not here to talk about medications i'm not here to talk about everything else i do to get through this nonsense instead i'm just here to talk about my damn gratitude journal man and how you can do this stuff for less than a dollar not, not even showing mine i'm not even showing mine and mine is worth 20 mine is worth 20 I'm not even trying to sell mine. I'm just here with a 50 cent spiral journal that I got from Dollar Tree, not Dollar General. That lets you know I'm a professional. All I got to have is somebody pop in and tell me, give me a gratitude, give me a date between 9, 8 and today, 11, 11. I'm going to read you my journal. Shout out to everybody rolling with me. So the view, Rick, I appreciate y'all. I'm hoping it's not messing up for you. I see Solis have to join a couple of times and I've been trying to be quiet. And now I see people are responding. But man, I'm, I'm, I'm scared to death that every time somebody pop in, it must be messing up and that's why nobody is sending anything. I, wonder, I just need somebody to give me a date. Between 9-8 and 11-11, I'm going to read these gratitudes to you and it'll let me know that I really am going live and stuff is working properly. If not, then I got to do something with the Instagram because I don't want to be these type of accounts that can't ever go live and stuff like that. I want to grow with this, man. I want to be do I want to do my thing. I want to let everybody know how I'm doing this. How I'm doing it. I just, I'll just pick a date. Might not even be anybody listening. Uh, I got the date 1023. 
I'm going to read my stuff from 10.23. On 10.23, my yoga tip for myself was to do my yoga, my water, and I had to stretch. That's the three things I put at the top. 10.23. Let you know I'm real. I'm real than a mug, people. I'm real than a mug. This is all real energy, authentic. That day I did 30 yoga poses, meditated for five minutes. I got in about 80 ounces of water. I did all my vitamins and supplements. And I was on day three of my manifesting. I was manifesting for three days in a row. The same thing, 369. You don't know that's how you manifest. That's the way I manifest myself. I actually have a manifestation journal. It's like this old school leather bound book, man. Like an old school pirate or something. I take this. Open this up to different pages. You can see where I'm trying to manifest. And I'm manifesting by as soon as I wake up, I write down my goal, my thought, my dream three times. Lunchtime, I write it down six times. Before I go to bed, I write it down nine times. Three, six, nine. And you're supposed to repeat the same thing. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. You're supposed to repeat that every single day for 21 days in a row. And boom, you manifest whatever. So in theory... If you take your manifestation journal, and you does not have to be one of these old school leather bound stuff like mine. Mine is old school, man. And if I were to go to different pages, you'll see I'm trying to manifest different stuff. And you'll see each time I am coming short. I'm trying to find something I did. I think I, here goes one where you can see y'all yeah, talked for several days and couldn't. I mean, this is like, this may be, these two pages might be about a week of me trying to manifest. And I was trying to manifest making $10,000 in a month. And I never even got 369 done in seven tries in a week. Never got it all, never got it all three times. No, wait, I got it four days in a row. Then I messed up on day number. I messed up. On day number, oh, I ain't under you like that, man. I messed up at some point because I was saying making 10 G's a month. If I was, I was not still be trying to manifest 10 G's a month. Either way, that's how it works, 369. And I'm only doing this live again. I'm telling y'all, I'm only doing this live because I've been told I talk so much about cannabis. I talk so much about stuff like Kratom. I talk so much about stuff like CBD, Delta 8, Delta 9. I'm rocking with my Delta. Oh, man, where did it go? I had it up here, man. I promise I did. Here it is. Boom. Even right now, I've been told, because I'm rocking with stuff like the Delta 9 syrup, and I talk so much about Kratom, cannabis, Delta 8, Delta 9. I talk about THCO. I talk about all types of stuff. And if you're rocking with me right now, what I'm doing is trying to do a test run to see if I can even go live. Every time I tried to join live yesterday, it would mess up on people's stuff. And I was told, so Vibes, I see you there with me. I know you're rocking with me, Vibes. I've been told that what happens is, because I talk so much about cannabis, Kratom, because I talk about stuff like Delta 8 syrup, that I've hit an Instagram algorithm, and whenever I go live, it'll start messing up. It goes out of tune, goes out of whack, and I won't stay live. Because the thought is, I do all this off the wall, off the reservation type stuff so much that I'm, I've hit the algorithm now. If I try to go live, it messes up, they don't want me talking. I don't think I'm that big. I don't think I'm rocking and rolling like that. I'm not swinging and banging that hard. It can't be that. So, Bob, if you can't roll with me, then that must mean ain't nobody rocking with the video. Because everybody that joins disappears. Joins disappear. Art, you roll with me a lot. Salute to you, bro. You even commented something. So, I know if people, these people commenting, so you commenting. But then people are gone. So, I'm thinking either people are absolutely still gone or the live is messing up. At this point, I've never seen more than two people join this video. And I used to have, I used to always see more than two. I used to have sometimes see as much as <laughs> what time I have four. 
<laughs> One time I had four. But either way, let me get back to the thing. So on 1023, I did my let me make sure anybody actually commented and said the stuff. Um uh, Morab, salute to you. Salute to you. A thousand thank yous for joining us. When I'm doing this, art still here. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, cool beans. So what I'm doing again, last time I say this again, I'm seeing if I can even go live. I talk so much about cannabis, Kratom, Delta 8, Delta 9, CBD. I'm running my mouth about stuff like, uh, man, all the different, about things like rolling up lavender, taking chamomile, and you put that in your, put that in your, put that in your indica. Lavender, chamomile, herbs, put that in your indica. Fellas, ladies. I promise you, you are finna be out. That stuff is better than melatonin. And if you want to add some ah uh, to your night, then what you do is add Damiana to your sativa. And suddenly, yo, you have no idea how long of a night you're about to have. Fresh Damiana with your sativa. Can I even whistle? Yo, must have added, must have added what, 30? I would say 30, 45 minutes to my game. Consistently adds about 30, 45 minutes to my game. So, yeah, I'll say that. I'm going to say it with pride. Damiana adds 30, 45 minutes to my game. And that's something I never even knew until either last year or this year I figured that out. Either way, what I'm talking about right now, just adding herbs. Because I talk about stuff like that. I've been told I hit the algorithm, and that's the reason why I couldn't join people's Instagrams and stuff like that yesterday. But, Art, you still with me? Salute to you. I don't know if Vibes is still there. I know it's two people there, but I know Art is still with me. So it can't all be that I'm just running my mouth too much with this stuff. Either way, like I was telling y'all, I'm doing a test run to see if I can go live. I'm reading to y'all my gratitude from 1023. And the last part out, yo, much love to your vibes. You still there? Bit, oh, you was on break. Okay, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, bro. Salute. A thousand to you, King. A thousand to you, man. Vibes. A thousand to you. A thousand thank yous to you. So here we go. Gratitudes. Number one, the J-O-B approved me leaving for my daughter's birthday party. Grateful because I was on the clock kicking it with my daughter. She was shocked I was even at the school, which made everything even worth it. That was number one. Number two, I'm grateful we got to the school early. It was the first time ever. I got four kids. We were, I was seated and I'm handicapped. Seated, comfortable. I brought my own chair. It only took us four kids to make it to somebody's birthday party early. Four kids in, the last kid we finally made it to on time. It gave us plenty of positive energy for the whole day. So I wrote in my gratitude journal. And the last one, Lighthouse. Salute to you. This is my test run, Lighthouse, based on what happened to us yesterday. I'm making sure I can even go live with other people if I can go live myself. Because after what happened to us, Whoo, I got to do a test run to see if this even works. Last gratitude. Shout out to the parents that trusted their kids with us. Ain't no kid fighting. Ain't nobody being ugly. Everything is going kosher. The party today to top her stuff off. The gratitude was realizing the movie was up the street. I thought we had to drive the kids all the way back, and it ended up ending at 11.30 p.m. I was not going to make that long drive, and instead, we got home early. Yo, man, that's my gratitude. It's my last gratitude. Let me tell y'all, in the way it works, you spend more time thinking about the things that are going good. You spend more time just thinking about what's righteous in your life. Then you do worried about if the kid says something when they came in. You're not worried so much about your husband leaving the toilet lid down. You're not thinking so much about, man, I told my wife I wanted to eat something with chicken. 
and I can't believe she made something with pork. Ain't nobody got time for that, man. Ain't nobody got time for that. We got kids in the crib. Everybody made it home. You worried about chicken over pork? Like, come on, man. My nigga, my homie, my boy. Get you a gratitude journal and calm your ass down. Think about some other shit. And that's the way it works. So, live over with. I appreciate everyone's participation. I will see you all next time I do this. Your boy has a clubhouse room now. You can catch me next Wednesday. 3 p.m. Clubhouse, Agent of Gratitude. Y'all be grateful. Stay pretty. I am out. Peace.